Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for October 9th through the 15th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I have uh, pre-shuffled these three decks for you so whatever falls out I'm going to let stay out. Um, I'm just going to shuffle for a minute. I have created a Facebook group for live feeds that where free readings will be done every night. Free mini readings. If you want to join, the link will be below. This is for people looking for guidance and for other healers, readers, spiritual people that have guidance to share. The name of it is Spiritual Guidance Live Feeds. And I will uh, be adding people to it daily. Okay, I'm advertising it like mad, so it's going to grow very fast. We want to get as many people as we can so we can get a lot of healers, readers, and spiritual people in there sharing their gifts. Um, now, this may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. And if you want to know why I don't re uh, do reversed, you can go ahead and find my About Me video a few, uh, few videos back. This is my Crystal Visions tarot deck. I'm just going to make sure that is zoomed in correctly for you. Whoa! Holy kamoly, that was good. All right. Um, so the basis of your reading is the Hermit. So that tells me that a lot of you are refocusing this week. This week you're probably going within. You may be seeking solitude. Um, you may need time to recuperate for some, from something. And you may decide that you just don't want to be around anybody. Okay? Uh, the hermit can signify the need to go within and refocus. You know, do a little bit of soul searching. Alright? So I think a lot of you this week, that's going to be the focus of your week. Alright? Uh, maybe you're becoming more self-aware, you're taking a time out, maybe you're taking some more time to just, you know, reflect on what's been happening and how you can change it. We do have a few sixes here. Sixes are about, it's time to get your ba life back on track, okay? It really is. When we see a lot of sixes, six, 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 it's time to get your life back on track. So I think a lot of you are doing that, and I think the first step is to go within and refocus. I do see that you may have been ignoring a situation or pretending that something wasn't what it was, okay, So, because I see that up here, okay, um, and that is right next to the Empress, so this is, that's you pretending about this situation, it has been affecting you in a very big way, it's been affecting your soul, okay, okay, so it's been affecting your beauty, your essence, it's been affecting you, it, trying to ignore a situation, it's kind of like, lying to yourself because but it's a protective tactic and and don't think it's just you Libra everybody lies to themselves at some point okay they do so everybody um, we do you know it's a protective tactic you know but anyway um, we do have Taurus Virgo Capricorn here we have um, what else do we have Virgo Aries, yeah, so we have, and uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, this Empress, she can really be any sign because we all have that in us, but it generally represents Leo, Virgo, and Taurus, okay? Um, so yeah, that's what I see for signs. Anyhow, we you gotta really it really is time to get your life back on track. Okay, that's a very big deal. I see it's time to take control, take the reins, put yourself in the driver's seat. Really, it's time to get focused again. All right, I see there's been some grief. Okay, there's been some heartache, um, and I think that you guys have been working towards something and working on something for quite a while. 
and perhaps it didn't turn out the way you had hoped because we have this three of swords here um, and we we have uh, <laughs> there's been a lot of delays and you guys have been waiting for things to happen and they're not happening the way you had hoped you have probably been making choices based on the wrong reasons we have the seven of cups here that is making choices based on the wrong reasons not really making a wise choice okay when the seven of cups comes out it says you really need to think twice before you make a decision so if you haven't if this hasn't happened yet this week when you go within, really think about the choices that you've made in the past. Make that part of your soul searching because that's what's really affecting you. The Seven of Cups is about choices. So pay attention and really or really try to reflect on the choices you're, you've made and, and try to figure out how that has impacted you, impacted the grief and the loss that you're going through. Okay, and all the work that you've had to do to get there because I see you guys have really put in a lot okay um we have the unknown card here the unknown card is i mean i don't know if you can see it and now you quite a few signs have had this as of lately but i don't know if you can see the tears in her eyes okay i don't know if you can see it but anyway she's pretty sad she doesn't know what's happening and you have this card because that's exactly how you feel okay at this time i feel like you guys the unknown is overwhelming for you and it feels like things are out of control but they're out of control because an obsession because of an obsession that's what this card is there's an obsession all right which is causing you to be overwhelmed all right um and it's causing you a lot of grief and heartache we have the three of swords right there so whatever this obsession is that is causing you all this hurt and emotional distress and whatever it is it's it's it needs you to, you need to take time to go in and heal and rejuvenate your soul and feel like you can't even face the world at this point whatever it is you must let it go whatever that obsession is you have to let it go we have the ten of wands here this is letting go of something that is holding you back it's weighing you down it is so heavy to carry there is no need to carry it any longer just throw it down and what keep going let it go okay so for a lot of you you're holding on to something that you don't need to hold on to anymore okay it's affecting your beauty it is and with these sixes it's time to get your life back on track all right i think you've been delaying this outcome okay there's been delays there's been some um ignoring the truth of a situation all right um you know the only way to get through this is to have dig down deep and have self-confidence and have courage and have strength and understand that you have to step outside of your comfort zone to move forward okay so because I see that a lot of you are scared to step out of your comfort zone okay we do have the ace of wands here though that is a good card that is a card of a rebirth that's a fertility fertility that's a new growth with the empress here I think a lot of you are in the process of being like reborn again okay meaning you are in the process of starting a whole new chapter of your life I think there was some kind of lesson that needed to be learned and you're just about ready to let go of it and you're about to start over on start over okay and it's like a rebirth here for some of you you could get pregnant but I think the Empress and this page of wands that's a rebirth it's a new growth all right and this is a new partner okay so it's it could be a new sexual partner but it could be a new partner in work or something else but either way it's a new growth all right um and it feels like all of a sudden this happens and you get this fire inside of you that says okay uh, it's time it's time for me it's time for me to start over and to get my beauty back and just feel very feel vibrant again okay it's time for me to 
uh, get back to where I was, okay? So, because I think a lot of you um, have lost a lot of that um, inner beauty that you used to have because of some bad choices, because this is choices that have caused a lot of hurt and grief and heartache, and probably some of you have had some rejection, okay? And there's an obsession here. And this is an obsession where you don't want to lose control of a situation or you don't want to let go with these two things. You know, you're you're very dominant, okay? So I think that this week is about getting your life back on track and, and going within to rejuvenate your soul or do some soul searching or and to focus on the next chapter. I do see a rebirth here. It's a time of fertility where it's like you are reborn okay so that's what I see and I think you know that's going on for a lot of you where many of you are no longer going to let yourself be stuck in a situation there's been a lot of heartache there has and grief sadness over an obsession, okay? That unknown card comes out, and this is the only deck, the Crystal Visions deck that has that unknown card. It comes out when it says that everything happens for a reason, okay? And I know that and you guys are trying to figure out what the reason is, but it's meant to be unknown, okay? So it's a really weird situation, but it is meant to be unknown. It comes out when you need to learn something the hard way. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you that. Yeah, this is it. And now this is right here in the basis of your reading strength. This is what it's going to take when you go within to do your soul searching and refocusing and whatever it is that you need to do. This is what it's going to take strength, inner strength, to be reborn. It's kind of like a birth. It's not easy to be born. It's not, if you think about it. To come out of that little spot, it's not easy. Okay? So that's what this is. This is a rebirth going on. Like it's being reborn again, starting over fresh. Okay? It's going to take strength to do that. This is the magician. This is, a, this is a oneness, okay? This is awareness. This is attention. This is action. Taking action. Using your tools, the inner tools inside you, okay, to manifest this change. It's gonna, it is. And it's going to be, um, you know, you can't be impulsive about it. You really need to make a plan, all right? So when you go within, come up with a plan. Come up with a plan on how you're going to do this and stick to it. Okay, because I think with the choices, you've made some choices and they may have been impulsive or based on lust. These are the choices and this is lust, okay? So just saying, and this is kind of an impulsive energy and this is a practical energy. So this is, the, they're right next to each other. So I'm thinking a lot of you really need to think about your choices. Is, is this a practical choice or is this not a practical choice? Because here we have practical and this is not so practical. And it's right next to these choices. So just really think about your choices. All right, because your choices affect your happiness. They do affect your happily ever after. This is a 10, this is a completion. When the 10 of cups comes out, it means that something is ending in your relationship or in your family that, you know, if there's any hard times, if there was any strife or anything like that, it is probably ending now. And it looks like and you could be starting a new chapter regarding your family you know you like I said some of you could be getting pregnant or even having a baby or talking about getting pregnant and having a baby um, or just this this is just uh, it's a completion in a relationship that leads to something else okay one phase is over and you're beginning another ace of swords Oh, Page of Swords. Now this is for Libra. I think a lot of you have been observing. You may be, maybe you're stalking somebody or they're stalking you, okay? Maybe on social media, maybe anywhere else, you know, I don't know. This is like a stalking kind of energy. It can be very spiteful. 
It can be very hasty, impulsive, um, intense, intense. So I think I do know that things have been very intense. Right underneath that, we have those sixes. Those sixes are about it's time to get your life back on track, okay? And we have the need to um, get your peace back, your peace, your peace. So when you go within, when you're making your plan, figure out how what is going to make your life more peaceful. Okay, so here we have this Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is about truth. It's about clarity. It's a gift from above. Okay, where you finally realize the truth about a situation. Okay, that's what that is. I think the way that you're you are making progress, you're definitely making prog progress, but you're you're gonna have to keep going. Do not quit. Keep going. Think twice. The six the seven of cups always says think twice about your decisions and your choices, okay? Remember the basis of your reading is the hermit. It's a time to go within and refocus, make a new plan. Like I said, there's a there's like a uh feeling of being reborn here starting over completely from scratch and it takes strength to be born it doesn't it's not easy and it might hurt but i think there's some kind of truth and you know what it is all right there's some kind of an awakening here and you absolutely know what it is so what i'm trying to say is you guys know what i'm talking about We have the Ten of Wands again. Now we have it twice. We have this one twice too. Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands. Too much. Too much, too much, too much. This is too much work. This is too much to carry. Too much. Life is out of, out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. Like I said, it's time. It's time for a change for you guys, Libra. You know that it is. You must let something go. And it's time to start over. Here we have the Queen of Water. This is the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is this says relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself. Okay, and others. This is right over the basis of your reading. The Hermit. Go within to care for yourself, Libra. Don't even look at the rest of the card. This card, my messages come from above. I use the cards as a tool. You can read the card and go with that if that's what you want. But I think you're watching the wrong reader if you want just the cards, okay? So the fact of the matter is this card says it is time for you to go within and heal yourself. And it is going to take strength because it does, it's not easy. It's not. The Ace of Wands, an exciting new opportunity right around the corner if you should choose to accept it. All right, change your life now. That's what it says. You have this card twice. It is time for you to change your life and be reborn. That's what I have, Libra. I wish you the very best.